What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Tyler here from TarverAcademy.com. You're thinking to yourself, why are you doing this? Well, one, I want you to learn. And two, sponsored by LearningBird.com. Just check them out. They're pretty good. They got some great uh, video lessons, and you can get your learn on there too. All right, so let's jump right in, shall we? You ready? I'm going to jump. I don't think you're ready. Bump this jelly. Did it. Okay, so we're looking at rotations, okay? A rotation, um, just like a translation or reflection, um, is a transformation. You're transforming your point or your shape or your line. You're transforming it and putting it somewhere else. Um, it's a transformation, okay? I don't know why I said that in a weird transform voice. Just pretend like it was cooler than it was. Okay, so we're looking at a rotation. Um, you, as being a human being, probably have heard the word rotation before. It means to turn something, okay? All right, you know what a rotation is. You're rotating something. You rotate your tires. You turn something. Therefore, it's a rotation. Okay, so I want to show you how to rotate when it comes to geometry. Okay, so let's look at a point. Let's say we've got the coordinate. Um, we go over two, up one. So we're at two, one. Okay, that's our starting coordinate. Now, let's say first I want to rotate it 90 degrees, okay? Two is my X, one is my Y. To rotate 90 degrees, all I do is I flip my X and Y, so I'm going to flip those, so I'm going to flip it, so that one goes in the front and my two goes in the back, and then I also make the opposite of whatever the Y is, so it's a positive one, now it's going to be a negative one, okay? Then I can just plot my point. Once I get that coordinate, I can just put it on there. So I go negative one, up two. And that's my rotation. Now, I'm about to show you a way to cheat, okay? Don't tell anybody I told you this. If you hear, if you get caught, you better not, you, you better not wrap me out, okay? This is how you can do a rotation on your paper, okay? I have it, I can see through my paper. Bloop. Got it? Now I'm just gonna rotate it 90 degrees about my origin, which means it's gonna go to the next one. And that should have been in the exact same spot. If this was number lines, then I would know it's in the same spot, but that's how you do it, okay? So you can just get whatever it is you're doing, put a piece, put a point through it, turn it 90 degrees, and put the point there. Oh, you wanna rotate it 180? Turn it again, boop. You wanna do 270? Rotate it again, boop. That's the way to do it. If you want to check yourself and make sure you're doing not wrecking yourself, um, then you can do it that way. Also, it's a good way to do it. I'm going to show you the correct ways for the rest as well, okay? I know you're just going to give them the cheating way first, but you were losing interest, so I was trying to hurry up. Okay, so we rotated it 90 degrees. Now, I'm still going back to my original point. I want to rotate it 180 degrees, okay? I start with my original X and Y, which X and Y. Now, I'm going to keep them where they are, but I'm going to make both of them opposites. So therefore, instead of them both being positive, they're both gonna be negative. Negative two, negative one. So then I just go back two, down one. That's it. I just, I just rotated this coordinate 180 degrees. 270, can you guess which quadrant that one's gonna go in? Spoiler alert, it's the fourth quadrant, okay? So we're gonna rotate it, it goes past 90, past 180, into the 270 chunk. Okay, I take my original X and Y, and then I'm going to flip them. So now the one's in the front and the two is in the back. And then I make the X an opposite. So I make that one that was originally my X opposite, which would be negative two. So I go one, negative two. I need a number line, but I don't have one. So work with what we got, okay? So that's how you do rotations. That was too hard. That was too hard. Don't, don't hit chalkboards. All right. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I showed you the cheating way to do it. That's not cheating. It's just like survival skills. It's like life hacks. That work? That works. Life hacks. Okay? So, showed you the real way. I'm going to make your teacher happy. I showed you the way that you can check yourself and or do it that way the first time. It's up to you. Okay? If you're dealing with something like a triangle, it's the same thing. You just get all three coordinates and then you put all three coordinates in and do these little things and then you just connect your dots. Okay? Which I guess it'd be like that if I rotated there. Yeah, it's going to look like you rotate it, and this one would look like this. I don't know. I don't know if it's right. Check me at home. Put in the comments if I got that right or not. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ho, ho, ho. Boom. Spoiler alert. Nailed it.
Okay. Again, I'm Tyler from TarverAcademy.com. Check it out, please, for more math, tech, help videos, and just advice on school and life. Also, thank you to LearningBird.com for sponsoring this post. Peace! Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com.